Hello guys and welcome it is Dude or that SLB2 Dude here today bringing you yet another episode of how to get better at Splatoon 3 Ranked. This is the series basically like tearing it up except no challenges and we are playing within X battles and I'm talking to you guys about specific weapons on how you can get better with them. Now of course in this series you have the addition of the hand cam and basically absolutely everything that I am looking at while we are going in the game with commentary. On today's video as you can see in my hands the weapon is the splatter shot and this is actually going to be a really interesting one because this weapon just got recently buffed in two ways by its accuracy and its special weapon. So it's definitely going to be a weapon that you'd like to try. But first, let's talk about the splatter shot. The splatter shot is a three shot kill weapon. It has short to mid range firing and its fire rate is fairly decent in comparison to other weapons in Splatoon 3. The splatter shot by far is one of the more basic weapons in the game. As you can see from the stats, the range, damage and fire rate are all practically the same or mid. Some might say it's mid, but all around it's a really good weapon. And not going to lie, paired with the kit it has with Suction Bomb and Trizooka is just a great mix of stuff for you to use this weapon. The suction bomb can be extremely helpful, especially when you're in stalemate situations. You can basically just go ahead and continuously throw the suction bomb just to hold down an area or potentially wait for your teammates to come forward before you want to make a push using the weapon itself. The Trizuku as a special weapon is also extremely helpful. Since the splatter shot is only of course short to mid range, the Trizuku really helps when it comes to fighting things at further ranges, as you can see right here. However, if you use the Trizooka's explosion radius, you will be able to take out enemies in two shots. Beforehand, it used to be three. This is very, very strong for today's splatter shot as it makes it much more valuable. Now, of course, the splatter shot is what you call a frontline slaying weapon. So you're probably going to see a whole bunch of that. And especially you want to be able to utilize the, the range of this weapon as it is pretty short compared to longer range weapons like the splatter shot pro, the nice scout deco, squeezer, or the heavy splatling. These, of course, are just a couple of longer range weapons that I've thrown in there. The most effective thing when it comes to killing with this thing is the weapon itself. And as you can see too, it kills pretty fast. Of course, it's only three hits that you have to hit and that fire rate really comes into play too. So what you will want to do with this weapon is try to break the distance between you and your targets because that's going to allow you to actually get close to them and actually be able to take them out seamlessly. You can of course do that with the suction bombs, maybe throwing it behind them so they come towards you. Of course you could probably take some time to go ahead and put some paint down, shark up to a target so you can break the distance without them noticing and then take them out that fact as well. There's a bunch of different things you can do with this weapon. All around, it's really, really good. All stats are great. It paints extremely well as well, or decently well. So you're going to be able to get your special as quick as possible too. And honestly, that is pretty much it. This is the build I'm going to be running. I have two mains of quick respawn, just in case I don't have the most fortunate situation. So I spawn in a little bit quicker. I got stealth jump because this, of course, is a quick killing weapon. So if I'm close up to my targets and getting myself into the battlefield as fast as possible, then a stealth jump is going to be extremely helpful for that. I got a little bit of swim speed, a little bit of ink resistance. I feel like two or three subs is enough for me. I got a little bit of ink recovery so I can charge up my bombs a little quicker. One quick super jump sub so I can jump in as fast as possible. And a little bit of intensify action to help with my squid rolls. Either way, this is the build that I'm going to be running. And let's go ahead and get into some X battles. All right, guys, here we are. Onwards onto our next game. Now, this is on Barnacle and Dime. Now, to talk about this map a little bit, Barnacle and Dime... Okay, this is double... They got double backline and they got a 10. Talk about this map, Barnacle and Dime. It's very, very stalemate -y. Very, very stalemate -y. So, it kind of encourages slower play, I'd like to say. Like, you really want to make sure you don't get picked off. Unless you got Tacticaler and then you want to play a little bit more aggressive. But, you know, you really don't want to get picked off in this map. Okay, we do got two picks already. I'm literally just, like, painting just so we have uh, some ground here. My Dime was actually just... Playing Slayer role here at this point, but oh, I might be gonna take this guy out. Oh, there we go, good stuff. I don't want this Zap to know that I'm here just yet. There we go, nice. The uh, Jet Squelcher is looking at me. They're actually pretty far, so I'm gonna try and hit him with the Zuka. Actually, get him with the double, uh, double splash damage there. Hold this area still. Take the Zap out. So hold this top, area, top left area. There's no real need for me to go back just yet. I need to get this guy in the back. Oh, I barely missed him. I might get sniped here. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
Not bad. Just gonna hold this area here, not gonna move. Just wait for someone to shark pass. I'm gonna try and get behind. Oh, the timing on that was awful. Unfortunate. But I do get the top left area, so I'm gonna let these guys just... Well, I'm just gonna stay up here and distract, basically. Might be able to get one. There we go. The other one's up top there. I get sniped by the Elia on the right there. It's a little bit unfortunate for this team because they're extremely slow and they're pretty self rely well, pretty much reliant on their zap to actually make a play. Uh, they kind of have to, like, use tactical a zap to basically get a pick or two in trades. And then uh, they kind of play off their tent to push off from that too. Uh, I'm gonna wait. I don't want to take any smoke here. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna move. Oh, you saw that. Uh, okay. I gotta do something here. Tent dead. Move up. One of them's gonna try and push me. Uh, okay, I couldn't trade off that. Try my best to actually hold that down. But we did get one down. That's actually still huge. The tent. I feel it was, I believe it was the tent that got down. So we got two down. Uh, I'm gonna throw a bomb behind. We'll try to throw a bomb behind. But looks like we are taking control. I just gotta be careful with this jet squelcher. Try and get behind him here. Or maybe the Elia first. Tent dead. Elia dead. Dead. And I saw the last guy here. Oh, he's one! Come here! Oh. Tent's back. Okay. Now I swim. Alright, cool. Maybe I take this shot here. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna try to take this shot in the leader. Perfect. Alright, we've got all this control now. Cool. Throw a bomb there. Just gonna hold this down. Actually, I'm gonna try and d distract on top left again. No! The tent actually fell on me as I went to tr try to go to the top left there. We also do have a flanker coming up here, so... I'm not gonna jump to this guy. It's just... That person's dead. I can't call out to him to say that there's someone pushing him there, so... I'm gonna try to take control of left, and hopefully they don't see me here. Or maybe I can get around. Actually, I'm gonna try and get around. Hopefully they didn't see that. Oh! Okay, I think that Lita saw me pick up that clam. Oh, okay. Take out the Death Scorcher. I haven't seen too many tacticals on our side, uh... Just yet. I really wanna jump. There, there could have been a possibility I could have jumped there, but I didn't want to risk it. Uh, so I'll just play it safe here. Alright. So since they saw all these players here, I'm just going to act like there was no one here. There, that goes one. Lee are dead. Ten. Dies. Last one's the Zap. The well, Zap is right there. Okay, perfect. To be honest... We've got so much, like, we got so much time to work with. Like, we just fully wiped them, basically. Um, if we can just play... If we can just basically pick them off... And not allow them to go any further than they have before... Then we'll be fine. I'm not even going to bother trying to score more. Because it's not really worth it. We're just gonna be... I mean, we've already given them the extra ball. So, probably scoring there was not even really necessary, but... I'm literally just going to toss bombs and just, uh, basically annoy them. I might even get a pick with one, so. Just going to play it so, do not get picked off, and then we win this game, so. Uh, I'm actually kind of close to Zuka. I might actually just paint a little bit just to try and circle it. There is going to be an overtime, so we do have to chill. And this is exactly why I didn't want to score it, because now they got a ball, and now they can, uh, actually push in, so. Alright. Gotta be really careful, dude. No. This is exactly why I wanted to be really careful. Exactly why I wanted to be careful. This is why we shouldn't have scored. Oh, and they win the game, dude. That is actually tragic. <laughs> it's actually tragic, dude. You gotta, you really gotta look at timings, guys. You really, really gotta look at timings. Because my people started falling off one by one there, and then it's just like, well, we didn't have to hold. We didn't have to go any deeper than we were already. We just had to pick them off if they tried to attempt to come in, and then we lost so much control, and then they just pushed in for basically free. So, yeah, that's just like a win. I mean, we've had two games where it's just like, man, we literally could have just won that if we played sm smarter, but we didn't, so it is what it is. It's, it's, it's unfortunate, but, you know, you can you can only work on yourself. Like, you may lose, but, like, you have to work on how you play to actually, like, 
you know, actually get those wins, so. Right, here we are. Back on Undertale Spillway. Our comp, we have Jet, Dapples, and Spatana Wiper. Regular Spatana Wiper, so I think it's going to be aggressive. And, uh, okay, so we got decent backline. We got so we got to Reef Slider. I thought it was going to be Tacticooler. All right, they got two Inkzookas. This is going to be kind of rough for us. We don't have any Tacticooler, so we have to really make sure that we, uh, you know, really make sure that we don't get traded off those tacks. Because they're going to be extremely aggressive here. And uh, they're tossing a bunch of bombs here, which is a little unfortunate, but... Um, you also do lose one player. Zap is also trying to go in. I didn't get the kill there, but that's fine. I got the kill on the Octobrush, it seems. There we go. One player here. You can take this out. There's one right here as well. They still got tech, so even me taking that guy out is not going to really do much. Uh, but they do get pushed back, which is good. Now, we got to be really careful with uh, getting picked off. We really need to make sure we don't get picked off here. Just going to try and stay away from that Octobrush. Squeeze it down. Um, Zuka here. I gotta be careful with the Octobrush. I think he's right here. He's right in front of me, so. Jumps out. Alright, perfect. Couple of clams. Uh, I am not. I wanted to save my Zuka. Get one. There we go. We got Ball in as well. Try and take this guy out. All oh, perfect. Just saw him went to the left there. I could take the squeezer out. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Play it safe. Yeah, I can get one. Dang. That's fine. That's okay. We actually tried to keep the basket open. Alright, we gotta play defense. Uh, perfect that our custom jet coach is already in a good defensive position. Holding down the right. They got three bulls though, so we gotta be really careful there. Azuka was a bit premature, but that's okay. That's one. I can take the other one out too. Okay. Mm, you got the jump in. Oh, he missed! Alright! That's huge! That's huge for us! I know exactly where this guy's jump is, so I'm gonna wait for it. I'm gonna go for the squeezer first. Okay, never mind. I went for the Octobrush first, it worked in my favor. I traded with the Zap, so there's two down. We're actually gonna be able to get one ball in. Perfect, we're actually playing this well. I'm gonna use my stealth jump here, too. They shouldn't see this jump, so it should be fine. Uh, I gotta be careful here. Nah, I, I got hit as soon as the person drops. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Quicker spawn in. So I jump in pretty fast. But we're losing plays. Eee, I traded. It's a quick respawn trade though, so it's fine. They also got another ball in, so we gotta try and stop that. They missed the ball, so we gotta really defend this. Cool. Uh. Trade. Okay, cool. All right. There's two minutes left, man. There's two minutes left. The game is not over yet. Okay. I'm gonna bomb this. Got a player on the left. I'm trying to bomb behind him too. Uh, there's a player on the top right as well. Okay. I'm trying to play safer because I'm not entirely sure how this is going. I kind of want to use my Zuka, but also just want to. Get decent picks. It's a trade kill again. It's not a quick respawn trade this time at all. Uh, I'm just trying. I really want to make sure that we stay alive here. Because uh, the moment uh, they find a breakthrough, it's not going to be good for us. Oh. They get that in. Okay. Zap. They get lead. That's fine. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. We can play off this. But we just gotta get the right uh, control here. Put the Zooka in. There's only one up. It's the Zooka on the top right there. Uh, Zap's right here. If I can get the pick on him, it would be great. But I need some help at this. Be very careful. Be very careful. They're just overpainting this. There's like two guys here. Oh, we lost the players. They tried to come in. Spider shot is now down. I'm dead by Octobrush. They held the left right. Okay. There's still time. There's, just, there's still quite a lot of time, actually. We've got 30 seconds left, but we need to really make sure we stop dying here. Octobrush is down. I'm trying to make a play on the right, maybe. Taking one. I can't push that yet. 
I'm close to Azuka, so maybe I can play up this. He Octobrush needs to go down. There we go. We got time still. Good Reef. Use that for advantage. Nice. Okay. Oh. No, dude. Oh, we're so close. Ah, oh, dude. That is disappointing. That is very disappointing. We just had to have some better defense, honestly. Ah, oh, it was close, man. It was very, very close. I think my issue was, like, I tried to go for the ball when someone else was already going for it. But, of course, you can't call that out. Ah, oh, dude. It just had to end like that, didn't it? <laughs> uh, it's rough. But it is what it is, you know. Honestly, it is what it is. We had such a good game, man. We had such a good game as well at the same time. But it is what it is, you know? You can only play well for yourself. I tried, man. I tried, all right? I really did try. We got so many picks. Like, so many cool, good picks. And, you know, it was me trying to fight off the, the tacticalers too, so. But it's okay. We get back in there. We do another series. We try and, we try and bounce back. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, we are not giving up. We're going back in there. No more foolishness. We're, we're out here. No more foolishness, no more losing. This is where everything turns around, alright? Okay. So. Barnacle and Dime, we do have good defense. We have good offense as well at the same time. Working with double Zooka, I think, is always nice. Oh, Just make sure I don't die to the attack, the Tobs. I think there's two players that just dropped down here, so... They just need to hold that. I'm gonna try and throw bombs into Ward's mids. Just to block one certain area. I can work towards my Zooka as well. That's, I think that's exactly all I need to do. There is a player here. Okay. I killed the jet by accident. Cool. One player here. Two balls, but that's fine. Full wipe. Now we can take make our move here. I'm going to take control on the left. I think taking control on the left side, if possible, is also really, really helpful. It makes it really hard when... uh. The enemies are on the, the back foot of things. Now I'm just wary about the uh Just wary about the, the Spatana's uh what's it called? I need a clam. I need a clam. Wary about the Spatana's uh zip caster at that point. Mainly because I couldn't tell exactly when um I mean if I had my Zuka and they had zip caster, that would just been really horrible for us, basically. Now if my people can hold this down. Never mind. Alright, no. It's a... Uh, okay, no. We lost the situation, but now it's 2v2 again. My Jet Squatch is holding it down here, so this is good. That's good. Spatana's watching me. I'm actually gonna just go back from that. Or just hold this area. I mean, they're gonna take the rail off as well. But I have... I'm so close to Azuka, but Spatana has the... The Zip Caster, which is... Um, which is what I'm watching for right now. Or well, what... A, one thing I gotta be careful of. Literally just hold there. Oh! I thought he was going for me, dude! Relax, relax. Oh. Nah, I got taken out. That's fine. I didn't need to move. I, if that Spatana... That Spatana would have just passed over me, and it would have been fine. Um, Custom Jet probably needs to just throw the, the ball away at this point. There we go. Cool. Overwhelm him. I don't know if the guy's jumping here. No, we're good, we're good. There's a there's a ball in play, but the person's backed up. Try and zooka the, the ball guy there. It's a little far, but it's fine though. Alright. I want to try and get to myself towards top left. Off right is being destroyed here though. I'm going to flank here. Attempt to flank. One shot. Perfect. We have taken out two, which is good. Only one more in play. They do get lead. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We play off this. We already have a uh, ink brush already in our side. Just playing around. I'm also really close to my... Oh, guys. How did we get picked off there? We had the opportunity. We had the man advantage. We had the control. It's not exactly all you want here. Okay, I'm still gonna actually go off that. 
Oh, oh he's weak. All right, hopefully we can watch this splatter shot. No, they're just breaking through again, dude. All right, we literally have one minute left of this, dude. Try to throw the ball over. They're not... They're not scoring as high as I thought they were going to. Oh, come on, dude. Guys. Come on, guys. All right. A little bit of help here. All right, we have a minute left now, which is kind of dire at this point. Try and hold this right. We do have one ball in play, but we have to really make this push actually count. That's one down. Dies. Three down. Last one's a Splatana Wiper, and I have no idea where he's at. He's on the left, okay. Okay, down. Cool, we have two balls in play. I'm also already close to another Zooka, so I'm literally just gonna play for it. Um... Oh, okay, please stay alive, my friends. Please stay alive. We have one opportunity for this. One opportunity. Oh, he's just gonna take that. Mm. Let me put this down. No, dude. Ah, oh, there was a guy trying to get in play, but... We still have time. No. Mm. Ah, God. So rough, man. Oh, we just need to play safer, man. Just need to play a little, just a whole lot more safer. Or the way that we're pushing in, or the way we're trying to go in, it's just like we're just getting picked off too much, man. The thing is, is that we're fighting them. We're fighting them much, like, way better than them. But, jeez, that is just, like, horrendous in terms of, like, like, I guess, team, overall team performance, you know? Here we go again. All right. Undertale Spillway this time. Once again, we're like alternating between mats at this time. All right. My comp is very slow, but their comp is also fairly slow-ish. Fairly slow-ish, I'd say. Well, we'll see how this can work, all right? All right. They got two slayers. The 52 and the spider shot. We have to really make sure that our squeezer and myself play well, decently well. It's a trade there, but we had to pick good pick off, so it's fine. Uh, we have one player in the middle. I can jump, stealth jump right here. So it should be fine. Oh, I don't know who was that in the middle, but it's the Jess Culture. I do take out the splatter shot, so they're going to be a little bit slower now. I'm going to take a bunch of that. This Jess Culture dies there. Uh, we do have more control. Well, we should be able to take a little bit more control there, but I think we're going to play slowish. Uh, due to the fact that we have a lot of range, so... I think my players will just play towards their range, which is, you know, perfectly fine. You have to do what you gotta do now. I'm missing my shots, man. I'm missing my shots. It's unfortunate. Alright. Hone in here. There's one in jet in play. Players on us, dead. Try and take ball point out. No doing there. It's a big stalemate here. I'm gonna try and to work towards a, uh, Azuka. Alright. Alright, we do have a lot of advantage here. That guy dies, so that's good. Play enough, another Azuka here. The player dies. In the back, there's one under their basket, so we do get one in. There we go, perfect. We can get ball point here. I should just go, I'm just gonna run in here. Never mind, never mind, never mind. As much as I wanted to, wasn't safe at the time. All right, it's fine. Put the suction there. I'm also close to another, or well, halfway to another Zuka, so I could probably wait. Play, play towards this. Uh, I'm just hold this. The moment someone pushes that, I'm gonna be a shot though. Never mind. All right, just gonna paint towards this left. They don't see me here. Besides the jet culture. I don't want to get my turn my back towards the Jess Culture, but... Yeah, I didn't want to do that. The ball point was already watching the, the top right there, so it was a little unfortunate for that one. Alright. They are taking control here. They've taken two down from our side. We take off one. That's fine. Inkjet dies. There we go. Alright, I'm going to walk towards here. That's one. 
player here. Oh, he did the squid roll, but I still got him. Ball points up there. Takes out ball point. There's actually one player behind me on the left, on the right there. It's a splatter shot. We are able to take that out. Cool. I don't think we have enough clams though. This is a safe stealth jump since the ball point was already dead, so. And we do get a little bit in. Perfect clam spawns for us. Or well, good clam spawns for us, so I can probably take victory here. Or we'll leave. Oh! Get back up. I wanted to attempt that if I could actually like take out the the 52 as he pushed me though. They like both kind of just rushing it towards me though. Kill those 52. And this fighter shot. Wait, I can just take this out. Oh! He dies by the splash damage. I think it's just the Jesco tree and everyone off swarm. Oh! Oh, my movement was hard there. My movement was really, really bad. We still get the ball in, which is great, but like... I could have had much better movement there when it came to traversing that. Good defense by my uh, heavy splatling here, though. I'll say that. Try and make the Zooka look at me. Just get him off my teammate. Just kind of watching. Maybe about to shock up. I might go past this. There we go. Alright, I'm going for the ball point. The ball point's in the middle. It's a little bit slow. It's a little bit slow. No, dang! It was just a little bit slow. Ugh. We got time on this. It's the ball points going off from recoil or recoil. So that actually that's isn't as bad as it looks, to be honest. They took me out, but it's like it's completely fine. I can't tell if there's someone still on my right, so I'm, I don't know if I ever. I mean, don't know whether I should play defense or. Yeah, I think I do play defense here. Or oh, I kind of have to, at this point. Okay. I don't have a Zooka for this. Cool. Bombed it. Trying to hold this. Get the right players down. Get the right players down, dude! If I can get the Inkjet as well. The Inkjet's still here. Dead. Alright. Oh god, that defense was huge. <laughs> that defense was so huge, oh my god. I had a, not the greatest start, I was like missing a lot of shots, so I was playing a little silly, but... Oh god, that defense was huge. <laughs> that defense was really, really huge. I had to like look for the... I had to basically play, like, look for the right players, because there was, there was two bulls in play, and I had to defend both of those at the same time, just... On my own. <laughs> on my own there, dude. So... Jeez, alright. We continuing the series, alright? The series is not over. We finally got a win out of four losses, but you know how X battles kind of go? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. The best thing you can do is work on yourself, alright? Take that, let that sink in. Even though I have lost quite a bunch, I am working towards myself. We're working towards getting better on our own. And as we get, you know... As we get the mini speech, we're going straight into another game. Ah, oh, okay. Already here. The compositions: double splatter shot, inkjet, and zipcaster. Zipcaster, whale, booyah bomb, trizuka. Okay, all right. This can only go well for us, I think. I think we we can play off like. We can literally just use Zuka whenever we want to here, or whenever we need to. Uh, but we gotta be really careful. I just wanna make sure my Inkjet guy is really careful too, just cause, uh, he can really get taken out too. You drop in, that guy's drops, last one's a Jet Squelcher. Might die. Oh, I got him with the splash damage. The buff coming in huge. There we go, oh, the Octobrush actually saw that as I was dropping in. Really, really tense. But we also get another ball in, which is perfect. And a few clams. I can't stealth jump there. Teammates are doing really well of just holding that down, even with the limited ink. Um, they're somehow still alive. I think one jumped out. Jet Scorcher dies here. Or, I, or unfortunately, um, should have died there. My bad. <laughs> it definitely should have died there. I didn't get the good RNG shots there when I uh, jumped. But it is what it is. Sometimes it comes into play, sometimes it doesn't. 
Uh, I, I, I think our right side is good. Luka dies. I don't know if there's... There is one shocking left here. To move towards the right. We get just... Oh, there's two on the right. Alright, I'm taking left here then. There we go. Luka dies again. We have more clams in. Perfect for us. I feel like one drops on me. I'm just gonna shock here, dude. I'm not gonna move. Ooh. Okay, traded the spider shop. That's fine. We got 31 on the boards, which is a really, really strong lead. I don't get any quick respawn uh, boosts there, but that's fine. I'm just gonna bomb that. Mm, just watching the bull guy player. There's another one in play. I have to wait for this. I have to wait for this guy. E where is my shots? I thought there was an accuracy buff. <laughs> where are my shots? We kill that though. It's fine. There's a zip caster in play and a splatter shot also scoring. They're gonna get that ball in. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. They didn't score that. All right. Even though there is an accuracy buff on the spider shot, there are still some tendencies where you can miss, so be careful of that. Two kills. There's one right there as well. Perfect. Three down. Alright, we're looking for an Octobrush. Not too sure where he's at, but I'm just gonna go ahead for a score. Gonna take me out here. Oh, be careful. Okay, now we still got con good control. I may have given him a power clam there, but... It is fine, it's fine. We still got good control, he looked towards me. I gotta back up, I gotta back up. Alright. I'm gonna try and watch this. I don't know if this person's looking at me too. Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I tried to get the Octopus there, but it's fine. They have a... Well, they're gonna have to throw a lot of clams in to try and get lead still. Alright, we're watching this really well. Um, player here. Dead. I might be able to take on this Gluga. Easy so jump. There we go. The last one's that Gluga. He has ball. Throw the bomb there instead. It's a bit rough. Alright. Good score. Zooker in play. I score one. Oh, I had actually another one there too. Okay. Might be the fight there, but I don't- I think we disengage, disengage there. I'm gonna get a quick jump in. I don't think they expect the jump, so... Alright. I'm gonna hold this. Hold this corner here. Because the moment they run in... Ooh, there is a shocker as well. Okay, two down. Perfect. We're looking for the splatter shot. I don't know where the splatter shot is. Wait! There he is! Cool. It's 30 seconds. I'm actually gonna just throw the ball off. Oh my god, the bomb. It is 30 seconds though. The Octobrush is on the left. I saw him last second, dude. E okay, we gotta really be careful on this defense. We do have Inkjet for defense, which is great. Cool one. This last one's the Jet Scorch, we're on the right. He can get the ball, but I think the ball is being watched. Perfect. All right, good. Oh, all right. Tough game, honestly. Tough, tough game. Very, very tough game. There's a lot of uh, just unfortunate moments where I tried to get like, tried to be sneaky and then like tried to take out the uh, the zip caster jumps, but they just kind of slipped out of my hands every time, every single time. I mean, we're fragging them almost all, like, very, very consistently, which is great. But, we're having some games. <laughs> we're having some really harsh, hard games, so. I mean, this is what X Battles is about, though. You have to have a... I think I probably got a good... I probably could have had more Zookas there. I think that's probably my downfall. Like, it, it, those moments where I probably played slower, I probably should have worked towards getting my Zookas first. But... I mean, it's fine, because I, mean, I only had two Zookas that game. That's not that great, so... Alright. Either way. Let's get, it, let's get it again. There's still more games to be played. Or at least one more. And uh, we shall get it. Oh, okay. You would not believe this, guys, but I was waiting ten minutes for the next game. 
<laughs> Alright, Kraken, Double Zooka, Strike, Vact, Strike, Crab, and Zip. Alright, cool. We have a Trizooka on this, I'm... Okay, cool. Ugh. Oh, I'm just glad that we got into another game, dude. I was waiting for a really long time. Play X rank, guys, please. Play X rank. I need I need people to play. <laughs> All right. Either way, there's two guys on the left. Guy pushes ahead aggressively. Might be able to pick up the next. If he backs up. There we go. Zuko, patch him up. Maybe he's copium. Oh. Gotta climb onto their side. Perfect. All right. This is it. Cool. All right. There's a guy in our side still. All right. No, we can pinch him. It. He's gonna jump out. Okay, fair enough. I got taken out like that. Alright, we got beacons set up everywhere with uh, the help of our crack on roller, which is huge. That could have been much better, honestly, with how that was played. Um, they got crab out. That's fine. Trying to shoot the crab down. Take out the, the squeezer. We can push in. Oh, oh my god. Alright, cool. We're good. We can basically paint this up. Uh, any clamors? Any clamors? I'll hold the top left for you guys. If that, uh, Splatana allows me to. Yeah, I think he's on top left, so I'm not even gonna really, like... That. I'm not gonna pressure that too much. There we go. Back him up. Alright, never mind. I'm just trying to stay safe here. Let that zip cost to do his thing. There we go. Taking two down. I see one behind, but... Careful to zip caster though. There we go. I mean, it's Batana, I should say. I mean, same thing. Zip caster, Batana. I'm talking about the same thing. You guys know. All right, we can score again. Perfect. I'm not gonna stealth into there. I'm jumping into the beacon. Beacons actually might be the play on this map. Not gonna lie, dude, because this map is such a a long ways to go. So it's just like if you die and you got beacons, at least you can get back into a certain point of the fight uh, quick enough, which is nice. It's very helpful for us. I'm gonna play towards my Zuka here, because I'm close to it. I'm gonna let him push up. Right, be careful about this crab. Might be able to get closer to him. I'm gonna try and break distance. Nice snipe, huge. Two snipes. I'm gonna use that to go in. Toss that towards the middle. Uh, to suppress that. Nice. Oh, this guy's next to me. At least two. He, he got me there. That's fine. That guy's still on top left, though. Gotta be careful about him. But we got beacons everywhere. That was a quickest one uh, death as well, so I'm fine. I'm already back into the fight. I'm actually just gonna push the left again. I gotta be careful because the... I think they're aware of it. Alright, never mind. Just go back up. Alright. They haven't really been... That great in aggression. I don't want to jinx it. We're just kind of weighing them out with the crab and the the zip costers here, though. Oh, that crab is really, really weak. Tried to take the charger out. He gets taken out. I think he fell off the map, dude. <laughs> All right, taking control here. I don't think they realized this. But I pushed up. Last guy's on there. Actually, I just gotta go for the, the clam score here. It's literally one guy, so we might as well just get the clams. Thank you for the delivery. I am too far. <laughs> I think I zooka this. Alright, never mind. Back up. I don't want to get greedy here. We got uh, beacons up, so my people should be able to get back up fast. And it's just a matter of holding this now, honestly. Ew, don't let me. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. He's gonna take the beacon out. Oh my god, where's my accuracy there? Alright, perfect. Zip. I keep calling the stamper the zip caster. It's just, it's just not true at all, but. Alright. Nicely done. Thank you very much for the bait and switch. Gonna weigh out the back and then use my Zuko. Oh, never mind. Not no Zuka needed. That crab tank is in play, so I'm just like not trying to uh, lose myself in that. But our team especially is like. So much better at these fights, let me just tell you that. Zipcast is trying it. Not allowing it. There we go. I'm gonna hold this top left and probably go in a little deeper. One clam. Literally one clam. One someone will push her in. So I'm gonna just play aggressively and someone might hopefully brings the clam in. 
actually, there's no one there. Never mind. <laughs> All right, never mind. Well, this is a zero to a hundred push that the enemy team is required to do. They have two bulls, so as long as we can take them out before they even get close, we will be fine in this game. This guy's just gonna run because he has to. And doesn't run or respawn any more time. There we go. There goes, goes that guy. Another one, and the last one's behind us on our side, and they do have the ball, but it's not gonna really matter. They are going to die here. Oh, never mind. What a good zip. Or well, not a good zip, but an ink vacuum. <laughs> a little unfortunate there, but it's fine. There we go. We're taking them out. Cool. Right. We got a, ven a, a vengeance in a 3 1. All right. We lost like three, four. Literally four games in a row. <laughs> literally four games in a row, but then won three afterwards. So it is what it is. I mean, it was a lot, much longer episode for today. We did play extremely well throughout. It was just some really annoyingly hard games. <laughs> well, actually, to be honest, it's like two games where we sh basically should have won, but just the whole team's defense just had to be so much better than what it was. So it is what it is. We do get our. We, we still win up. And uh, we did pretty, pretty extremely well this Spider Shot. So, I mean, hopefully, you do take a thing or two of how I play my Spider Shot. Because obviously this is just like how I do it and how I think you can get better with it. So hopefully you learn a thing or two and uh, all that type of jazz. But as for me guys, this was that SW2 dude or dude in another how to get better episode. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. Thank you very much. And I shall see you guys in a future video.